My brother and I never knew our real parents. We were found abandoned in his smelly shack by a soldier on his way to battle. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, and he carried us to the nearest town. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided me with a love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. I was bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. Yes, bullies should not be tolerated. They soon learned that being different is not a weakness. My father showed my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. I grew up in Riverhold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at least. My brother found death. I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Well, now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. My mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. That means a great deal. Thank you. My brother and I found much work as swords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We took gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. All over Cyrodiil, from the Gold Coast to the Gerald Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times, traveling or working during the day, camping out under the stars at night. Life was good. I awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Some Khajiit-hating locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died, but I live because of him. Yes, that morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. His name was Fergus. I miss him very much, but part of me is hey, glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. Maybe you are right. It is a nice thought. But I suppose I will never know. Every day, my friend. Every day. I was recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. 
I was with a bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. I left the bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. After a few months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. From time to time, my body does. But my mind is made up. I am never touching this stuff again. It helped me smother some painful memories, but it took my sense and reason as payment. It was not a fair trade. There is not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. One day, Felix burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second to last step on the road of dishonor. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. That is my story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come.